I'm so excited about this update. Woo! Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I am here today to do my update for my lip service project pan. This is a fantastic ladies cloud project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. And for this project, I like to focus on panning my like higher end lippies. When I say higher end, I mean not typically not drugstore. So like Urban Decay, MAC, mid range lippies and up. There are some luxury things in here at times. <laughs> and I like to focus on just using a quarter of the bullet. So I suck at finishing lipsticks over the course of a year. I get really bored and I have a lot of lip products. So I want to give them all some love and finishing like 10 lip items in this project to me is just, mm -mm. I've tried it. It doesn't work for me. So I like to try to just use a quarter of the bullet of as many lip products as I can during the course of the year. My goal this year is to hit that goal on 21. So far I've hit the goal on 10, no 11 leading up into this update. I think that's right. Let me double check. Yeah. 11 leading up into this update. So how did I do this month? I can roll out three lip items. I am so excited. So let me share with you the lip products that I can roll out. The first one I have been working so hard to roll out. It has been like the monkey on my back for like the last couple of months. <sighs> the Gucci lipstick. This guys, this, you get your money's worth with this. This is the Gucci satin lipstick in painted veil. Gorgeous color. Love the formula. I love it. I really do. I love the shade. It's beautiful. It's a little warm toned to be honest for me, but I still love it. And to be honest, this is a fantastic mixing color. I'm not usually like, I'm like, it's expensive. Cause I think this is like $40 lipstick. That's expensive. I don't want to just have this as a mixing shade but it's really beautiful as a mixing color. Like I mix this with so many different shades this past month and I loved it. Like I really did. I thoroughly loved it for that purpose. And it's pretty on its own too with certain eye looks. But as an example, like when you have a, a warm toned look, but it's got a little bit of pink in it, you can pair it with a, you know, a pinky lipstick and it warms it up just perfectly. I don't know what it is about this lipstick. It's really pretty. And I love this formula and like it doesn't move. <laughs> kind of reminds me of those ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, but I prefer this formula, of course. Beautiful, but I can roll it out. I hit my goal. <sighs> Yay. Okay. The next lipstick that I can roll out is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the Cream Formula in the shade Rush. I have a cat here and another one here. <laughs> the cats are shedding like crazy. Oh my gosh. And Milo, you know, he's a, he's a long haired cat. So he's like, oh my, so much hair. <laughs> anyway, here is my lip product. And here's the shade. I loved this color. It's a very simple standard nude. I loved it. It was so easy to wear, throw it on super easy to wear. Loved it. Pinky nude love. I don't even, I don't know if they still have this shade in their new formula. If not, it's a shame. It's a beautiful color, but I hit my goal so we can roll that one out. The next one I'm very happy to roll out as well. This is the Clinique pop lip color in the shade love pop. So it is in this like limited edition Jonathan Adler packaging. Where's the Jonathan Adler? There it is. I was like, where is it? And here's the shade. Does it have a cat hair on it? No. Beautiful summer berry. Beautiful summer berry. 
Loved this. Very pretty. Happy to roll it out. Okay. So those are the three lippies I can roll out. I hit my go on. Very happy. So that brings my total of lip products that I have hit my go on this year to 14. So my goal this year is 21. So I only have seven to go. I'm pretty happy about that. I was not happy with my progress like in March, April, and I'm doing really good so far in August. We're doing good. How is it August? Oh my gosh. Okay. So let me go over the items that I still have and how I'm doing on them. I went ahead and removed the swatches for the three that I finished. So we just have the items I'm currently working on and the three new products I'm going to be rolling in. So first one we have is the Stila Color Balm Lipstick in Isabel. So it is this item here and here is the shade. And I am really close to hitting my goal on this. There's the swatch. I should pull my book out. I don't remember everything. Yeah, I am super close to hitting my goal. I'm hoping I can roll this out by the next update because I have like a teeny tiny bit left, like a teeny tiny bit. But you know, this is a wide base. So even if it's a short amount that I have left. I still have a lot of, it's more product because it's a wide base. So we'll see. We'll see if I can hit that goal. But that's the first one. The next one I have is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Michio. So typical NARS packaging. And then here is the shade. Very bright in your face pink lipstick. It's gorgeous. Now I had made really good progress the first month and I didn't make a ton of progress last month. So, and I, I did, I mean, I maybe wore it like once or twice and that's it. So I'm hoping I can make some good progress next month or this coming month because I still have, I think, half of my goal to go. So there's still a fair decent amount of product. This is super creamy. So one use and you get a decent amount of product that's used up, which in my case is good. But, you know, it, it lays down a decent amount of product whenever you use it. So hopefully... I can make a decent amount of progress because I can't wear the shade for very long. I may try mixing this actually with a couple of different shades that I have in this project. Next up is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Petal. So we have this here. I love this formula so much. Here's the shade. This is a beautiful color. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. And I made a decent, like I just rolled this in last month and I made decent progress on this. I mean, I maybe used a third of what I need to use before I hit my goal. So, you know, it's, it's doing all right. It's a really creamy formula. So a little bit goes along or you use it once or twice and you make a significant amount of progress. Next up is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 lipstick in JK Magic. And this is a gorgeous, like refillable compact. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Love, love, love. It's gorgeous. And I apologize. I still, I need to paint my nails. So they're not looking their best. <laughs> this is a very like nude, neutral nude lipstick. And it's really pretty. I, I didn't get a lot of use on this to be actually it's more peachy, I guess. I didn't get a lot of use on this this last month. I was I guess I was focused on other shades. So this one did not get a lot of use. It's OK, because I love that. I love that formula. It'll eventually get its use. Next up is the Bite Beauty Luminous Creme Lipstick in the shade Pepper. This is an older lip product. But here is the lip product. We all know what the old Bite Beauty lipsticks look like. I just, I mixed this, so I'm just cleaning it up. And here's the shade. I love Pepper. Love this shade. It's so pretty. I feel like it's an easy shade to wear. 
it's a little dark for right now, but to be honest, I'm real. I, I, I've worn it. I mean, I, I did a really great job with progress on this. And I mean, it's, I don't have a ton of this left, you know, it's, it's not a full bullet, but I, I did use about half of what I need to use in order to meet my goal on this. But what I'm liking about, I'm sorry, I have a cat hair like right here. It's just, like, it's like every video I talk about how I have a cat hair on my face. Every video. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I like mixing this a lot with like really, like even with that NARS lipstick. And I may actually try swatching that here right now just to see what that looks like. Well, or here in a second. Because I think this is really pretty as a like it tones down super bright lipsticks and it I don't know I, I, I like it for that even though it's pretty on its own you know this the, how old this is I think I just need to find other ways to use it and I'm okay with that it's pretty for that purpose so I am enjoying it even though it's really not the time of the year that I would normally wear it okay next up is the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick and turn on so i'm trying to use this up or get some use on it <laughs> here's the shade really pretty nice just pink lipstick and i did make pretty good progress on this again i used i would say at least a third maybe a little bit more than a third of what i need to use on this so making good progress on this i think it would also be a good mixer with pepper you need to try that out and then the last product that I have in this project right now is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Inspiration. And this was a mini. So this was one of the first mini that I had rolled into this project this year. And here is the shade. So there we go. It's just, it's a really pretty berry, pinky berry shade, really pretty. We're looking a little pink heavy, right? Crazy. Departure for me. So this is gorgeous. I I have used about a third, again, a third of what I need to use on this. So making progress, making progress. Okay, so I do want to see this with the pepper with the NARS. The pepper with the NARS, the Bite Beauty with the NARS. Uh, which one do I wanna lay down first? The NARS. Let's lay down the NARS first. Yep, so that is Pepper and the NARS mixed. The NARS. And there's Michio on its own. And there's the two of them mixed together. I think that's really pretty. Does that look like turn on? <laughs> hmm. What am I bringing in? Okay, so I am bringing in another Revolution lipstick. This one's the Sheer Revolution lipstick. Urban Decay. Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipstick. So spoiler, I may have finished one of these recently. So I want to get some use on this one. This is, like I said, Sheer Lady Flower. And I want to say, like, I've, I've used a good amount of this one up. So it's not a full, it's not a full like bullet. Again, I just want to get some use on this. I pulled this because I'm really enjoying these balmy products. And I feel like this is kind of like, it's a more pigmented balmy product, but it's still kind of like that, that, you know, the original kind of balmy lipstick, sheer, sheer lipstick. So I want to get some use on that. In the same vein of balmy lipsticks, I pulled this Dior Addict Lacquer Stick in the shade 512 Hit, I think is what it is. So here this one is. I think I picked this up in a Nordstrom anniversary sale a couple years ago. Never used it. So it like, you know, and here is the shade. So it's a very nude 
shade and I figure this would be just a nice color to have in my purse just to throw on whenever I need it especially with our mask potentially needing to come back on people get vaccinated <laughs> so anyway want to get some use on that I don't I mean there's a there's not a ton of product in here so I don't think it'll be difficult to hit my goal on this but I also don't want this just like sitting around in my collection because you know it's Dior <laughs> let's get some use on this puppy and then lastly this I was like okay I brought in a couple of I felt like a little easier products because this one already has some pretty significant use it's a balmy product this one doesn't have a ton of use on it now granted we have some we have pr a pretty pink color palette going on here. Now, I didn't think about that before I rolled this in. But I'm going to challenge myself because I have 14 lippies that I've already hit my goal on. And I only need seven more. And it's already August. So I'm going to work on a bit more of a challenging lipstick. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I think this could also be a good mixer. Mm. GLN, just tell them what you're doing. Okay, this is a MAC lipstick. It is the Amplified Creme lipstick in Love at First Bite. This was part of like their fruity something something collection. I don't remember, but it's in this super cute like, you know, fruity flower bullet. Check out this color. Ooh, punchy. Now I have used this a little bit. So it's not, again, not a full bullet. So as you can see, it's been used. I don't know when I, I don't know if I used it in this project or something else. I honestly couldn't tell you. But anyway, there is the shade. So I do, <laughs> a lot of pink. <laughs> it's summer. So I did try when I was talking about pepper being a good mixer, I did try mixing this with pepper and I think it was really nice. And I have other shades like in, in my makeup bag that I think I could mix it with like rhubarb. I have Taurus, any of these pink lipsticks. I have rhubarb from Bite Beauty. I have Taurus from Bite Beauty. Like right now I have ColourPop Ariel, which is a warm lipstick that I could mix. I think, I think those are the main ones right now that I could potentially mix it with. I also have Bite Beauty Pastille that I just rolled into my Throwback 30 and Pat McGrath Nude uh, Venus and Furs. I'm supposed to finish this in my throwback 30. So that's a possibility. So anyway, let's see what this looks like with pepper. Yeah, so I think that's really pretty. Obviously on the lips it'll be. So it's not as, you know what, well, hold on. Crisscross. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, so there is there is the shade uh, Love at First Bite on its own, and there it is with pepper mixed. So I think that that definitely warms it up a little bit and, or does it warm it up? Yeah, warms it up and tones it down. So that way I would get like usage on both of those. So yeah, I think I just kind of want to play around with some mixtures with that shade and I think magic hour could be a good one and some of the other ones I have in my bag as well so we'll see we'll see how that goes so anyway I am super excited about how things are going with this project and here is my current color story for the lip products I'm working on I am hoping I can roll out the Stila and I really want to roll out at least one of my pinks. Yeah, and the closest one is the NARS lipstick. I mean, that's the closest one. So I'm hoping I can roll these two out. It may end up just being the Stila and Isabel, but 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get Michio out too. That's gonna be my goal. I may get by I may get pepper out just because I'll be mixing it. It just may be like a natural progression that I'll roll it out. And pepper is also pretty creamy. So kind of like Nars Michio. It's pretty creamy. So I think it'll it may just get rolled out because it's a creamy lipstick. But I think that's really all that could potentially get rolled out. Those three. That's my thought. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's anything else that's, really, that's even close. So anyway, that is my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Look at Milo. Look at his face. He looks like a curmudgeon old man. He looks like he's just like angry all the time. <laughs> so cute. He's so cute. I love him. Yeah. 11 leaving, leading. Hmm. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. Oh, Milo. Look at his sleepy head. He's giving me a side eye. He's totally giving me side eye. He's like. Now his eyes are closed. So cute. Bye.